Welcome back. I wanted to make another gift for a friend and she had mentioned to me that she has a hard time keeping plants alive. So I wanted to go with this self-watering planter. It's on printables by RB3D. It's a quick print self-watering planter. So it's all in one. There's no inner insert or multiple parts. It's just one single print. So I went ahead and started with the 3MF file. It loaded in my slicer for the Mark III, which is not surprising. For some reason it has TPU, but I wanted to go ahead and slice it and just kind of look at it overall since it is a single print. I wanted to see how everything lines up. And right about there, you can see that there is multiple parts to it that just kind of join together. I like that I'm not going to be printing in vase mode, so I'm going to have a lot more thickness on the walls. And with the multiple pieces that come together, I'm hoping that this will be watertight and will work out as a print for a planter. With these settings, it's saying it's going to take almost 14 hours. I looked around a little bit more to see what other things that he had adjusted. It looks like it's three perimeters for the wall. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the filament, of course. I just want to be printing with the generic PLA. And then I want to print this on the XL, the Prusa XL. So I do want to adjust that setting as well. And it's asking me right now if I want to transfer things and I click yes. For some reason that little pop-up window doesn't show when I'm recording. I go ahead and recenter it for the XL and slice it again. There is not a 0.3 slicer profile for the XL so it swaps it to the 0.25 quality but that drops it quite a bit. We're only at about five hours just by switching the printer. I would like to have this planner a little bit larger. It's only about four inches or so so I'm going to scale it up 150% and that should put us in the range of a little over six inches for the planter or about 152 millimeters and just scaling it up that amount puts us at over 12 hours for this print i have a new pla filament that i want to try from overture it's called it is rock pla which i've tried there those before this one is fossil rock so it's a different color and it looks pretty cool I didn't see a picture attached on the website, so I wasn't sure exactly what color this would be, but it looks like it's a rainbow of a lot of different colors. Um, it seems like the color change is pretty quick. I'm only seeing one or two filament diameters there on, on the side, so we'll see how this looks. The colors are really pretty. I think it'll be really nice for a planner. It, I'm hoping it'll feel a little bit more like a pottery piece, so let's see. So it starts off with kind of a creamy color and I didn't do completely solid bottom layers. I just went with the presets that were already there and you can see already starting to shift the color and you can see the holes along the bottom for that self watering, which is really cool to see it all in one print. Okay, so let's see how it turns out. I have a little bit of trouble getting it off the bed, even though it had cooled. So I mean, the adhesion was pretty good. And the print looks pretty cool. You can definitely see the lines from the print in the pattern, but I think it looks neat. I like, I like the pattern, I like the design. I don't love the rainbow colors the way that they worked on this print. I wish that there wasn't such a heavy banding um, on the outside. It looks kind of cool on the inside, but I don't really like how the colors turned out on the layers on the outside. Um, you can see though that the inside, where the holes are, the actual design of the print, the way that you put the water through the side, all worked out really well. And I like how on the inside where it lines up, it's very smooth. So I'm very happy with the design and I'm happy with the print, but the filament, I feel like I didn't like how everything turned out on that. But the most important thing, of course, is, is it's still going to be watertight. It feels very sturdy, so let's try that out. I move it away from my printer just in case and go ahead and add water in through the side. With the vases that I printed in vase mode, the clear ones and the white one, I immediately had water run right out. So this one is already doing better. I tried to put a decent amount of water in there so yeah, you can see it along the bottom, but I'm not seeing any water come out the sides. 
I did have one little drip just from me pouring, but as I look along the bottom, I'm not seeing any water. I'm not seeing it. I mean, I could see it just immediately permeating through the bottom, and I'm not seeing that right now on this print. So it seems like it's holding up well, but I really want to be sure. So I'm going to put some paper towels under it just so that I will immediately know if there's any moisture, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this for a couple hours and see if it just slowly seeps through. Um, but right now, just as I'm setting it on there, I'm not seeing anything. I come back a couple hours later and everything still looks very dry. I don't see any moisture seeping through this pot. So I think it's gonna be a, a hit. But again, I don't really love the way that the filament turned out. So I wanna try something different. I go back to the Quick Print self-watering planner and then I click on RB3D because he's got a couple other ones as well. Um, I switch over to the models and I can see that he's got a couple other self-watering planters that have inserts separate. And so I click on this one, the self-watering planter that is kind of red. I like this design. And I go ahead and download the 3MF files for the insert and the exterior planter. What I'm trying to do is get a planter that's gonna have a slower gradient change, maybe even an ombre. So if I print them separate, I'm gonna have less filament and hopefully achieve what I'm looking for. I just use the default 3.2 speed on the XL and I don't change anything. I don't change the perimeter. Um, I just leave it kind of as is and slice it that way. I also don't scale it up. I'm still at 100%. So this is gonna take just over an hour. I did forget to recenter it, so it's kind of centered more on the Mark III, which is why it's off a little bit. But this prints just fine. I also was a little nervous with the overhang as it was. Clearly that's how it was designed, and that was how the 3MF file was. But it made me a little bit nervous that something wasn't gonna stick very well. Okay, so it prints fine. It comes off the bed just fine. Uh, the holes along the bottom are cool. There is still some banding, but I do like the overall kind of smooth transition of the color. It's not, you know, multiple dark sections. Um, so I like this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and try it for the other planter as well. So I pull that in as the 3MF as well from the Mark III. And I, I don't change the settings. I don't update it to the XL and do the 0.32 like I did on the insert. I wanna leave everything as he has it because I really want this to be watertight. He has adjusted a lot of settings in this, so I go ahead and just leave them all as is. A lot of them seem speed, overhang, and so I really want, I'm just curious how this one's gonna turn out. But of course, I do still swap it on the profile to the XL. I do want to make sure that it is going to print correct for that printer. The details on most of these prints have said to have at least three or four perimeters, so I go back and just double check that. It was set at two, so I upped it to three. I just want to make sure that this is watertight. I realign it and slice it, and it looks like we're at about seven and a half hours for this print. And I keep it at the 100% because that's what I did for the insert. So I go ahead and start this print. It's the filament color starts again pretty creamy and starts to do a little bit of a shift as it is printing. And I'm hoping that this color tone will turn out better, that it'll just be a smooth transition. Okay, great. So it's done and already I love the transition. I like how much smoother it is. Very good bed adhesion on this print, and I, I really love this. I like how smooth it is. Underneath looks great. I almost wish that it had flipped and printed dark on the bottom and then smoothed out to the lighter color, um, but that's just where I started it in the filament. I see a tiny little hair there, but I don't really even see a crazy seam. Um, I think it looks really great. Even on the inside, it looks really smooth. I'm not seeing a crazy seam. There is definitely like layer lines and dimension to it, but I like that. I think it looks really cool. 
I'm super happy with this and the insert fits really well. The color tones look okay together. I do again wish that they'd been a little closer in tone, but it's a really cool print. I'm confident that it's gonna be watertight. Okay, here it is with the plant in it. Turned out really great. The size was a little bit smaller than what I was originally hoping for, but it turned out really nice and I think it'll make a great gift. I'm gonna keep it on the paper towel for a day or two until I gift it just to make sure that it is watertight. Let me know what you think of this design and this new filament color. What design do you think would be best to use with this filament? Thanks for watching.